Hi everyone, my name is Tamara and I'm a museum ambassador at the ASU Art Museum and thank you for joining us for Storytime Saturday today. The book we will be reading today is called When Dad Was Away. It's a book by Liz Weir and Kareen Littlewood. <clears throat> prison, prison. Millie ran along the street, trying not to hear the children shouting behind her. Mom and Nan were sitting in the kitchen when Millie burst into the room. They're saying Dad's in prison, said Millie, trying not to cry. I told him he was away working, but everyone laughed at me. She stopped as she saw the scared look on Mom's face. Nan gave her a hug. It is true, love. We didn't know how to tell you. What did he do wrong? asked Millie. Mom, when's Dad coming home? Mom's voice was very quiet. He won't be back for a long time, she said. He stole something that didn't belong to him. Nan's going to stay with us to help look after you and Sam. I'll take you to see Dad as soon as I can. At that time, Millie felt angry and confused. Dad sometimes went away to work, but he was never away for long and he always brought back presents. He was, a, he was great at reading stories and putting on funny voices. It would all be different now. When mom came to say goodnight, she saw that Millie was upset. Mom, did dad go away because of me? Because I was naughty? Millie blurted out, no love, none of this is your fault. Mom put her arms around Millie. Remember that, remember that dad is not a bad man. Even though he's done something wrong, he's going to miss us as much as we will all miss him. Next morning, mom took Millie to school. Her teacher, Miss Armstrong, was very kind and chatted to mom while Millie hung up her coat. When the bell rang, Miss Armstrong spoke to the whole class. Remember at the beginning of term, we were talking about looking after each other, she said. I don't want anyone in this class to forget that it isn't fair to tease people or call them names. Come and tell me if you hear somebody doing that. And if you are feeling upset, you know you can always talk to me. Millie's face felt hot, as if everyone was looking at her. <clears throat> that afternoon, Mom went to visit Dad. It was a long way, and she looked tired when she got back. Dad's really missing you, she told Millie, and Sam. She, he wants you to draw him some pictures. We can send them to him. So Jenny got to work with her paints and helped Sam with his crayons. A few weeks later, it was time for Millie and Sam's first visit to the prison. Millie looked up at the huge doors and high walls. It was scary, and she held tight to Mom's hand. Mom, what if Dad's forgotten us? She asked nervously. Are you sure he wants to see us? He can't wait, love. He really misses you. As they went in, they were searched by a lady, and they had to leave everything behind, even Sam's teddy. Then a friendly dog came and sniffed them. It tickled. They waited and waited for Dad to come, and at last he was brought in. Dad, Millie shouted, jumping up. It was so good to see Dad, and he gave them all great big hugs. Dad told them how much he'd been looking forward to seeing them. He brought in some of Millie's favorite books. I chose them specially from the library, he said. Then he read some stories to the children 
and just for a little while, it felt like home. All too soon, the visit was over. It was time for them to go. Millie tried hard not to cry when dad said goodbye. He kissed her and whispered, be a good girl, love you. Love you, dad, said Millie, hugging him tight. One week later, there was a special surprise. Package for you, Millie. Mom handed her a padded envelope. Millie tore it open. What is it, Mom? Dad's made a CD, said Mom, so you can listen to his voice even though he's away. Millie played the CD over and over again. There were some great animal stories on it. Sam loved it too because he knew that it was Dad talking. At Christmas, it was sad putting up the tree and decorations without dad. Everyone at school was talking about going to see Santa with their moms and dads. Millie felt left out, but mom had a surprise for her. It felt strange going to a Christmas party in the prison, but it was a real party with juice and sausages and crisps, and Santa was there too. When Santa handed out presents, the children waited for their names to be called out. Millie and Sam. Shyly, they went up for their gifts. There was someone taking photos. Smile, he said. And he took a picture of the whole family with Santa. I'm going to show it to everyone at school, said Millie. Me with my dad and Santa. In the spring, when mom came home from visiting dad, she had a big smile on her face. Great news, your dad's coming home next week on your birthday. Millie jumped up and down and hugged mom. That's the best present ever, she said happily. On the day dad was coming home, Millie was really excited. She wanted to tell her friends at school, but she was scared about what they might say. So she just whispered to her teacher, that's too, if that's terrific news, Millie. On your birthday, too. Miss Armstrong smiled. After school, Millie couldn't wait to get home. Very slowly, she opened the front door, and there was Dad with Sam on his knee. Dad, Dad, she yelled. Happy birthday, Millie, cried Dad. Millie hugged and hugged dad, and he didn't let go for a long time. Millie has been fantastic while you've been away, said mom. I couldn't have managed without her. It's good to be home, said dad smiling. Then Millie gave dad a big kiss. She knew this birthday would be her best ever. Thank you for joining us for another Storytime Saturday. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye for now.